your buttons right here. That takes me on and off. Yep. You don't have to worry about that. No. If you want to cough, press that mute your mic. Okay. If you want to say something to me, you can say that. Okay. That's where you adjust your volumes. Got it. Test, 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 test. Hello. Test, test, test. I hear you. Test, test, test. They'll do, let me find out here. We'll Will we do introductions um, at all? Okay. So we're going to come on for just a few seconds, and then we're going to go off the national anthem. Uh, no, let's just come on right after the national anthem. Don't do that. I stepped on it. <laughs> I might stand up a little bit. I was just seeing if we had many fans out. talk for 10 minutes. All right. <laughs> well, that was easy, wasn't it? Music 24-7 on Indiana SRN. No DJs, no commercials, no repeat song every hour. Music 24-7 on Indiana SRN. Music from past decades and the top hits every day, 24-7. Listen to the weekly top 20 every Saturday and Sunday. It's Music 24-7 on Indiana SRN, where you're always in the game. So we're sitting here with uh, the man, Tom Morales. If you want to build culture and, and grow your business the right way, uh, take a page out of his playbook. You know, Tom's best strength is his ability to be available as a leader. And so I uh, wanted to show you kind of his day to day as he walks the floor here at Morales Group. Uh, but I also want them to understand that uh, I'm never not there for them. Uh, for the company is a person in demand service. Nice! Knowledgeable! Service! Calling trunks, hauling junk, and moving! Can't get to a computer? Then we've got you covered. Just go to the Indiana SRN app and stay up to date with all of your favorite teams. You can watch live coverage or relive the experience with our on-demand service. Bertner Electric Incorporated has been proudly serving our residential and commercial customers with quality electrical repair for over 33 years. We are fully licensed and insured in electrical wiring and electrician service packages. 
you'll receive a competitive assessment, whether you're a homeowner or a business owner, first-time or long-time customer. We offer free estimates for any new project. Call our licensed and experienced electricians today. Conductor, how about something new? You played this last year. Come on, get your head out of your sacks. Shh, we're trying to hear. Well, I'm sick and tired of hearing your kid play the wrong notes. Where's my kid solo? At least you can see your kid. Why is my kid stuck way in the back? Hmm? The conductor only plays his favorite. Move! My kid heard that solo! You say my kid? Yeah, Come yeah. on! Being a man used to be simpler. You guard the cave, provide sustenance, honor thy name. A handshake sealed the deal, and a word was a promise. Today, things are a bit more complicated. We try to impress people we don't know by acquiring things we don't need. We have friends' lists, but few real friendships. Things like integrity and kindness have fallen by the wayside. How can we know if we measure up when the scale is constantly changing? The Freemasons believe that a man's job is to be the best version of himself possible. To pursue truth and self-discovery. We give more and take less. We connect with our fellow man so that we may learn from each other. To challenge one another to live up to our highest ideals.
Welcome to Heritage Christian High School and Heritage Christian Baseball. It's the Circle City Conference Game of the Week on Indiana SRN. I'm Keith Myers. Wes Snyder will be calling the balls and strikes for you today, and we're looking forward to it. And Wes, it's been a year since we've been in a booth and watched baseball, and it's time to play. I tell you what, and we picked a beautiful day to start back up, didn't we, Coach? 66 degrees, wind at 13 miles an hour. Uh, humidity is at 84% and 23% chance of rain, which means there's no rain in the forecast, and that's a good thing. No rain. Gavin Crawford with the first pitch. Strike one. Just caught the uh, the left corner there. These two teams played last night. We'll talk about that a little bit during the day. That is a smash. Oh, right in front of the, the left fielder, Dorsch. Goes for a single. Nice line drive there to start the game for the uh, Shatar Trojans. Didn't take long to swing the bat, did it? No. You know, this year with baseball, a lot of coaches, as the season is early in the year, is a pitching duel. Uh, it's been the opposite. A lot of offensive runs have been scored, uh, and, and we don't know if that's just because of the year off or hitters had a good time of hitting all during the year. Pitch one to Duncan. Little low. 1-0. Kinnett's on first base. Duncan's up to bat. Gavin Crawford on the mound for the Eagles. Here comes the 1-0 pitch. Oh, inside. Almost hit him. 2-0. See, now in Little League, I was told just to let that hit you, Keith, and get get that base. You know, But I got hit a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got on base a lot, Coach. That's good, uh, right? A lot of black and blue barks, <laughs> yes. 2-0 the count to Duncan. He's going from first base, trying to steal. Here's the throw, safe. Connect safe at second base with a stolen base. That ball was high for a 3-0 and count now on Duncan. You know, and it, you look at this rivalry that this team has, both Chittard and Heritage, they play in the Circle City Conference, got third year in the conference, and this has always been a nice little back-and-forth ball game. Chittard, uh, Heritage wins last oh, night. There's another line drive by Duncan to the left fielder. It's going to st- Looks like Kinnett's going to stay at third. Duncan's at first. So we got runners at the corners with nobody out, Coach. Kind of a big inning here to start for the uh, uh, Trojans. Yeah, and, and now this is where you just hit, tell the kids to get up and start swinging. Get some runs. Yeah, we've got Palakin up to bat now. Crawford needs to get an out here. Needs to uh, see if we can just sacrifice a run for an out maybe. Stop the bleeding a little bit. Yeah. And I think you're right. Chittard coming in tonight with the record of 6-2. and two. Heritage Christian 2-4. and four tell you where we're going to be tomorrow because we got baseball for you tomorrow as well so going to be a lot of fun right here on Indiana SRN. Here comes the first pitch to Palakian is outside that's a 1-0 count the runner took off Duncan took off to second base so now we've got runners at second and third still nobody out here in the top of the first for the Eagles. Then you look at this a base hit scores you two runs and now you're in a hole really quick if you're Heritage Christian so you really need a buckle down here you see that they're inside in the corners Maybe to stop that run, we'll see. There's a strike from Crawford to Palak and evens the count at one and one. Yeah, both these teams are one and two in the conference. Oh, a swing and a miss. That's a good pitch by Crawford. He goes ahead of Palak and one and two. And this is where you go to attack the kid. You know, throw the fastball out there or get the off-speed pitch off the corner. See if you go chase. Yeah. That one's a little bit low. Ball evens the count at two and two. Got away from Barrett a little bit, but not far enough to score that runner from third base. If you're new to the Circle City Conference, teams are buff, brave, the Roncalli Royals, scaring. Uh, Golden Eagles, Covenant Christian Warriors, Chittard uh, Trojans, and the Heritage Christian Eagles. Two and two pitch. Oh, he lifts a fly ball to right field. Right fielder's going back. Fields has the ball. Kinnett stagging up at third base and scores. Duncan went from second to third on that, so a sacrifice fly for Black and puts the uh, Trojans up one nothing. The Eagles do get that out that they needed, though. Yeah, they get that out. Now, now you can buckle down a little bit. You look at the order, but you know, now you, now you got the, uh, 
You got the clean big up. hitters coming <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, you got the cleanup hitter right here. You got Ane right here. They're gonna they're gonna. Okay, they looks like the Eagles protested. Thought maybe Duncan left second base a little bit early. But the umpire says he did not. He's safe at third. Which tells you that the umpire is paying attention tonight. That's right. That's a good thing. Right. That's right. Sometimes they don't. That or he just made that up. One of the two. Yeah, there you go. And they go. Oh, the, the pitch gets away. That was ball one, but didn't get away quite far enough to, for Duncan to score. One and no count. Again, Crawford pitching to Ane, the cleanup hitter. He's catcher tonight for the Trojans. Ane on the season batting 385. So, pitch is just a bit outside. Two and zero count now. Crawford not wanting to give him anything too much to handle. No, you sure wants to keep it down because, you know, 315 down the lines, a uh, pretty easy poke out yeah. of here if you put it up high over his head. You got it, Coach. Ball just a little bit low. That's a 3-0 count now on a nay. You know, they've got first base open. I think maybe they're just trying not to, not to give him anything. Here's the 3-0 pitch. Strike one. Just caught the outside corner, three and one pitch. You watch baseball a lot, right? Yeah. Ninety-nine point nine percent of the time when it's three and zero, <laughs> that umpire is going to give you a strike. It doesn't matter where that pitch yeah. might be. If it's close, it's yeah. You better swing. That uh. one's outside. So three one pitch was outside, and Nate takes his base at first with the walk. It's going to bring up Sitzman, uh, who's the designated hitter tonight for O'Brien. And we have a designated runner now for Chittard as number 25 comes into the ball game to run for them. We'll check that for you real quick here. And, of course, we don't have a number 25 on the roster. So Here we go. Yes. Uh, countryman. Yes. So Patrick will be running. So we got runners at the corners. One out and one in already for the Trojans. And Sitzman coming up to bat. And here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss. The runner's going to second base. He is safe. Stolen base for Countryman. The runner, uh, Duncan, did stay at third. You know, and Countryman made that a little bit difficult because, uh, you know, you got to slide there to make that, <laughs> you know, make that play a little bit. That, that, that play would have been not close at all had he slid, but uh, he, he made it a little bit close. Uh, that was a strike. So the, here comes the 0-1 pitch to sit, uh, uh, Sitzman. Oh, a swing and a miss. 0-2. We have some listeners in West Point, oh, in, in the, uh, New York. West Point. I wonder who that is. Debbie and the grandchildren <laughs> are watching the game tonight. Foul ball. That's pretty cool. Well, hello, Debbie. Thanks for tuning in. Courtney and, I mean, sorry, Gemma and Evlet and Athens, thank you very much. It is Grab Paul. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Tell them hi. I did. I just did. So. <laughs> Here comes the 0-2 pitch. He looks like he popped it up to right field. That's field out there. That's tough. Oh, he, yeah, he, did, he took a bad, uh, bad uh, chase after that one. The right fielder Fields dropped that. Another run comes in. Duncan scores. Countryman over to third base. Sitzman to first. And if you're if you're if you're scoring home, you have to give that an error to Fields. Man, yeah, it's probably an E nine there. But you know, you and I were talking before the, the game sun. that that sun was going to be yeah. difficult over there on the right side of the playing field. Uh, well, you know it's bright when our producer wearing his sunglasses and he's got his <laughs> big old sombrero hat on. You know that the sun is pretty up there. But Jerry looks good in a sombrero. Doesn't he do? Oh, yeah. yeah tell you what. Here's all bright up to bat. Here comes the first pitch. That's a foul ball down the third base line. 0-1. They did have a little hit and run going on there on the first pitch. We'll see if they do it here well, on the second one. Six batter of the inning. Still only one out for the Eagles. 
that E9 might come back and haunt him a little bit. Here comes pitch two, swing and a miss for a strike. Stolen base again there. Um, Sitzman, a little bit uh, delayed delayed takeoff there, but uh, the catcher juggled the ball just a little bit, just enough to get him to get into second base. So we got runners at second and third. 0 and 2 count, still one out. Oh, called strike him out on three. Wow, outside corner. Outside corner, strike three. There's a little delayed reaction by the umpire. I wasn't sure if he's going to ring him up or not. Two down, next up, number one, Ben Gilliam. It's a big out for Gavin Crawford right there. Yeah. The second out. And if you get out of here with two runs, that's a huge. You know, really, it could have been a lot worse. There's a strike for pitch one from Crawford to Gilliam. Gilliam playing third base this evening for the Trojans. Countryman at third, Sitzman at second. Gilliam up to bat. There's a ball. A little bit low. One and one. What a nice night. It's a beautiful night for baseball. I'm just glad we're back. Mm. There's a pitch and a foul ball back behind us. It's going to move the count to one and two. Yeah, you know, you look at the scorebook and, and you look at the year and all of a sudden you realize you missed a whole entire year of baseball in the state tournament and all those, the the kids that were seniors, they got to miss that season. And, you know, and then all of a sudden the kid was a freshman, now he's a, now he's a junior, you know. Exactly, so. yeah. Here comes the one and two. Strike three called. Crawford goes back-to-back -back strikeouts to get out of that inning. Two runs. Welcome back to Heritage Christian with the score 2 nothing. Shatard scores two runs on two hits. There was an error. They left two men and uh, with this half inning of 2-0. Wes Snyder, Keith Myers with you on Indiana SRN Game of the Week. It's the Circle City Conference Game of the Week. And we have two Circle City Conference Games of the Week this week. Tomorrow we will be at Garen Catholic as Garen Catholic takes on Covenant Christian. In this, in the how the uh, the Circle City Conference worked their schedule, you play Monday, Tuesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, and you play the team uh, either at home and away in that conference. And you know, you see number one, number two, uh, and then later on the week, then you got to go three, four, five, six. <laughs> as Heritage Christian also plays a couple more games this week. I know they have a double header on Saturday, on um, on Saturday against Traders Point. And uh, so it should be a fun Jackie Robinson day oh, at the ballpark. Oh, very nice, so, yes. And I think it's also senior night on uh, on Saturday. So oh, very nice. You okay. might want to come out if you're at a, near Heritage Eagles, Christian. Andrew come by and cheer on the Eagles. So we've got O'Brien pitching for the Trojans and Andrew Wiggins up to bat. Here comes pitch one. Foul ball straight back at us. Andrew also played basketball. He looks he looks more intimidating on a baseball <laughs> uniform. But big kid. He is a big kid. Wide shoulders, super athletic. I was I got to watch him a couple times this basketball season. He's a fun player to watch. Would you watch him play? And in, on Indiana SRN? I did watch did him on he? Indiana SRN. Uh, There's good. pitch two, a little outside, evens the count at one and one. Those are things we have to do, Wes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, there yeah. you go. Wes is not a stranger to Heritage Christian in Indiana SRN. 
Here comes the one one. Strike two called one and two on Wiggins. O'Brien caught the inside corner there. Good pitch. Low and inside. Wiggins a left-handed batter. Righty versus lefty. O'Brien to Wiggins. Bounce that one up there. Evens the count at two and two. You know, as Wiggins took a putt of maybe a step or two inside to get get right on that line. I mean, he is snuggling that home plate. Yeah, his back foot is right on that back back white chalk line there. Here comes the pitch. Oh, Wiggins smashes one to left field, right over the left fielder's head. All bright. Wiggins is going to second base. He's got himself a stand up double. And I will wait till the official scorekeeper to tell me I would give that an error, but I'll wait till the <laughs> official scorekeeper. And he's going to give him a double. That was that. That ball was roped pretty good. I like the uh, I like the double call I, on that one. I like I like the scorekeeper man because man, I don't want parents to send me hate mail. That's so. right. So double stand up double for Wiggins. That's Definitely was a rope. Asher Thompson, Thompson playing second base for the Eagles this evening. O'Brien digs in, and here comes the first pitch. Strike one called. That one caught the outside corner. A little bit high and outside, but it caught the corner and gave him the strike. You know, if you're Heritage Christian right now, you're in the, you're right back into this thing. You, you, know, you got to advance your runners, but yeah. this could be a, a game that could go extras, if I will say, <laughs> after the one. Oh, there's a shot right over the second baseman's head. Wiggins is getting waved home. Here comes the throw at the plate. It's going to be close. Wiggins is going to be close. He is out. Out. Kind of surprised the coach sent him there from – that was they could have had uh, they could have had a real big inning brewing. Good throw though, excellent throw. So Wiggins gets thrown out at home. Asher Thompson picked up the single, advanced to second on the throw to home. So he's got a single, but he's at second base. It's going to bring up uh, the shortstop Jason Lewis. Brian pitching from the stretch. Here comes the pitch to Lewis. That ball, oh, it's hit right out in front of the pitcher. I think everyone's going to be safe. Sure enough, there's an infield single for Lewis. Thompson advances to third base. So we've got runners at first and third. Only one out yet. Now, if you coach Ambrose, maybe you're thinking, maybe I should not have thrown it because now bases could be loaded with no outs here. So Tough decision, though, Coach. You, you want to be aggressive because you want to stay in the game. You want to get your kids stay into the game. Right, so. right. Still in pretty good shape here with first and third. First and third, one out. Third baseman Halyard up to bat. Bat and cleanup for the Eagles. Here's pitch one. Low and outside. Ball one. So we've got runners at first and third. One no count on Halyard. If you're new to high school baseball in the Indiana High School Athletic Association, they play seven innings. Here comes the 1 0 pitch. There he's. Hit a fly ball to center That's field. Deep. It is deep. Oh, it's over the center fielder's head. Here comes Thompson. He's coming in to score. Lewis is getting waved in, and he's going to score too. Look at this. Look at this. We got a tie game, Coach. I tell you what, Halyard put a he put a nice stroke on that one over the center fielder's head. So he's got himself a stand up double out at second base. And we're tied at two. Two in, one on, and one out. Brings up Ty Vaughn, who's DHing tonight for Gavin Crawford. So now Crawford's duties is just to pitch the ball and let everything and everybody else help him win a ball game. Well, his offense did help him out here in the bottom of the first tie up the game. Here comes the pitch, a little bit outside to uh, Vaughn. That's a one and zero count now on Vaughn. You know our friend Sean Crawl is a huge uniform guy and I'm sure he would be falling in love with those both <laughs> sets of uniforms because they're pretty sharp looking. Both teams looking good this evening. Here comes a 1-0 pitch inside 2-0. So Vaughn ahead 2-0. O'Brien O'Brien's probably really hoping to get a strike here. He needs to get that second out. Kind of stop the bleeding a little bit for the Trojans. Heritage hitting the ball really well though. Was. Every, every ball's been hit hard. Oh, there's, there's another, another hard one. hit right to right field. That's a really line drive single to right field. Really well struck ball. 
Third hit of the night. Halkiard at third base. Ty Vaughn, that brings up the first baseman, Seth Ambrose. Another left-handed batter for the Eagles. You got Halkiard at third, Vaughn at first, Ambrose up to bat. Still just one out here for the Eagles. O'Brien looking for an out right here. Here comes the first pitch to Ambrose. That ball is hit foul down the first baseline. So an 0-1 count on Ambrose. You know, being here at Heritage Christian three or four or five years, I remember when Seth was just running around the diamond <laughs> as a little, you know, seventh and eighth grader. For now, sure. Look for how sure. big he's grown. He is a tall kid, isn't he? Here comes the 0 1 pitch from O'Brien. That ball is smashed to center field. Way back, way back. Oh, the center fielder drops it. Halkier's going to come in. Ambrose is going to have himself a stand up double. That one might be an EA coach. I don't know. Lewis to third. Double by Ambrose. Oh, I'm sorry, Bond to third. So you got Bond at third, Ambrose at second. It's going to bring up Fields, the right fielder. And, you know, you were concerned a little bit about that two two runs that you gave up in the top half of the first inning. Yeah. You now, come right back with three, yeah, now right? Now you're up three, and there's still only one out. you got runners at second and third. Coach Harmon coming out, talking to a young man. So what was our official ruling on that? I, I gave him an error. Scorekeeper gives him. Love, him a got him a double. Got him a double. So okay. I'm going to change this to an H. <laughs> Thank you very much. Send hate mail to scorekeeper <laughs> at heritagechristian.net. <laughs> That's the fourth hit of the inning. <laughs> you know, what? you've coached. What do you say to the kid right here? You've given up four hard hits and three runs, one out. Yeah, you want to get that, you know, and, and the one out was at home plate. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you really just need to get, O'Brien just needs to buckle down, get this get get this out here, stop the bleeding, you know, get in with, with just the, the three runs. First pitch to Fields is outside, 1-0 count. Yep. And you never want to second-guess Coach, but Coach is probably there scratching his head going, <laughs> what did I do that for? Hindsight is always 20 Oh. Swing and a miss. Evens account at one and one. Threw a little bit off speed there, though. Wes went yeah. away from him. Yeah, and that was a that was a really good pitch by O'Brien. Just got to start working the corners a little bit like that, changing up the speeds. See if he can get this second out right here. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. It's a one and two count now on Fields. Still have Vaughn at third, Ambrose at second. Here comes the one, two. Another hard hit ball right over the third base. That's going to get at least one home. They're, he's waving in Ambrose. That's two home. Two more for the Eagles makes it five to two. Another hard hit ball by Fields. What a great, what a great swing on a one-two count. Yep. Really came back and, and hit a hit a he kind of choked up there and, and just hit a nice ball right over the third baseman's head. And I, I good, think good you, piece of hitting. Yeah, there. and I think you said it right. He choked up on it, and if you're a young little leaguer at home, uh, at home watching this, that 0-2 count, choke up a little bit and, and make that back speed a little bit faster. Yeah, guarded the plate and had a good, just a good pitch or a good hit. There's a strike. We've got Dorsch up right now, the left fielder. So you got Fields on first base. Dorsch, the left fielder up. Uh, first pitch called strike, 0-1. The eighth batter of the inning. Here comes the 0-1 from O'Brien. Swing and a miss. Got away from the catcher. Fields is going to get to second base on that one. Was a swing and a miss, which brings up an 0-2 count. This would be a big out for O'Brien if he could get this one. I think you go outside here. Let him chase. Yeah, I wouldn't give him anything to, to swing at, that's for sure. Here comes that. It's exactly what he did, Coach. A little bit outside. He couldn't get him to fish for that one. Ball one, two strikes. Now I set my catcher back at the outside. He's still got a couple pitches to give here, yep. so let's see what O'Brien does. Here comes the one, two. That one is a little bit low. Got away from the catcher, but just right out in front of him. 
Fields does not advance from second base. Evens the count at two and two. Dorsch, another left-handed batter for the Eagles. We've had a bunch of those. Swing. It looks like it, you're going to call it foul. It bounced off yeah. the front of the plate, I think. Good call by the umpire. He didn't yeah. end the batter's box. Yeah. So foul ball leaves it at two and two still. How about a beautiful shot from our camera guys, huh? Tell you what, the camera guys are working extra hard today. I'm, I'm telling you what, Stick O'Neill and Johnny is doing a great now, uh, job. Here comes the 2 2 to Dorsch. Foul ball over on the left side of the field. He fouls that one off. You know, Stick's been with us a couple of years. He's a good cameraman, I'll tell you that. Yep. Kind of quiet. <laughs> he does not talk a lot. There's no question about that. You know he's not related to me if he doesn't talk a lot. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that one, Coach. <laughs> Here comes a 2-2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That's a, a what's exactly what O'Brien needed there. Gets two outs in the inning. Brings up the ninth man, Barnett, the catcher. Here comes the uh, first pitch to the catcher, Barnett. That's a, oh, it's a ground ball. It's off. Oh, the, called it's it off. there. Yeah, it's off the third base. Fair ball. We're going to get one more run home here for the Eagles. I tell you what, that was a uh, that's a, that was a fortunate hit there by Barnett. It, it hit the it hit the bag and uh, bounced off over onto the um, uh, just to the left there where the third baseman couldn't get it. Now, Wiggins spills pretty happy because now he can go bat again. <laughs> Second time up in the first inning. Center fielder Wiggins. Looks like we've got a courtesy runner coming in. Courtesy runner Luke Holloway for the catcher, James Barnett. Luke Holloway coming in for catcher Barnett to be the courtesy runner. Center fielder Wiggins up to bat. I like how both coaches get all their players involved in the game. You're doing something, you know, in between innings of running up and down the field. Just keep them involved in the game. Oh, yeah. A little delay there with the home plate umpire. <laughs> Wiggins, who hit the ball hard this first time up. Strike one. That ball was right down the middle. Good pitch by O'Brien. You know, our producer likes this because he's left-handed, so he's enjoying this. It's, <laughs> it's left-handed day at the ballpark. We do have a lot of lefties so far. Here comes the 0-1 pitch to Wiggins. A little bit high, 1-1. One 1-1. One. One one. A lot of things going on here at Heritage Christian. you got a track and field meet that there's about 355 <laughs> athletes over there. Hey, there's a ton of kids over there. I, I, can't there believe, I can't believe how many kids are running track over there tonight. Oh, one and one pitch was inside on the just must have caught the part of the plate. Called strike two for a one and two pitch. The girls softball team is at Kevin at Christian in a conference tournament, a conference game. The one two pitch inside gets away from the catcher. Runners advancing to second, and he's safe there. Had a nice conversation with the athletic director before the game tonight, Michael Horseman. We want to thank him and his staff and this lovely staff we have up here taking care of us too, man. I mean, the scorekeeper, the the music person, I mean. We've got it all going on. you, you got a request, here. you can ask for it. Watching your Eagles baseball. That pitch was low. Was 2-2, two and two, now 3-2. and two. So you got a full count here on Wiggins, 3-2, two, 2-ounce. Two you got to figure Holloway's going to be going from second base on the pitch here. And you sure do not want to go him a fastball up high. No. Nope. That ball has popped up. Popped up to the third baseman. Oh, nope, the shortstop. Oh, oh. It, and it's going to drop. It's going to drop right in front of the shortstop. I don't know if the sun, sun got in their eyes on that one, but it looked like the third baseman was going to take it. The shortstop got right in there and just, just – just dropped it. We will give him an error in that one. Is that, is that the official? <laughs> yeah. Official scorekeeper gave me the nod. Here comes second baseman Thompson up to bat. You've got runners at first and third. 
Six runs in for the Eagles. Wiggins takes off for second base. Uncontested. Walks into second base, and they got runners at second and third. That ball was high, so a 1-0 count on Thompson. Here comes the 1-0 pitch. Gets away from the catcher. 2-0. Here comes the score. Oh, he's safe at home. Safe at home. Holloway scores with the seventh run of the inning for the Eagles. Wiggins advances to third base. You know, you give up two runs, and you're, and you're feeling kind of down with yourself, and then all of a sudden you have one, two, three, four, five, six, six hits in this game, and they are hard hits, a couple errors, and now all of a sudden you feel pretty good about yourself. You're up 7-2. There's a strike, 2-1. and one. Yeah, you're exactly right, Coach. You, they uh, came out, scored seven runs, and like you said before, a lot of hard hit balls. Here comes a 2-1 pitch from O'Brien. A swing and a miss. Oh, the ball gets away from the catcher. Here comes Wiggins in to score. He is safe with the eighth run of the inning. Ball got away from the catcher. And he's had a, had a lot of work back there so far in the first inning. Yes, he has. And you just really want to shake your head and go, okay, what do we need to do to get an out? Let's just do something to get our last out. Well, you got no runners now. That ball's a little outside. Runs the count full, three and two. Thompson still up to bat. No runners on. O'Brien still pitching from the stretch with no runners on. There's a foul ball on a, on a full count. Dan Ambrose uh, got an error because he fumbled the ball there. He got to you know, play it off the net, coach. Come on, third base coach. He'd be better than that. Let's yeah. go. That's why we're up here, right? <laughs> That's right. Exactly here comes right. The, the full count. There's a ball hit to the third baseman. Oh, and he boots it. I think that's another. I think you're going to call another error there on Gilliam. Just kind of rolled underneath his glove a little bit. Air. Air has been ruled. Air. E5 on that one. Shortstop Jason Lewis back up to bat. Thompson on first base. Eight runs in here for your Eagles in the bottom of the first. O'Brien going back to first. Safe. You know, the my old-fashioned scorebook, I guess, is obsolete. Now you can go to Game Changer and keep scoring. <laughs> I think people could log on to that website as well and watch uh, the scorekeeper doing what he does. Now, why would you watch that on a website when you can watch us on Indiana SRN? There you go. Got it thrown out at second base. Thompson trying to steal. Got, got thrown out there at second base for the third out of the inning. Piper Group Warehouse has a strong commitment to their clients as their logistics provider. If you would like to discover how you can improve your service levels while lowering your overall cost, Piper Logistics Group can help. Call Greg Piper today at 317-396-3916. Piper Logistics Group. Your hauling or moving project has arrived, and College Hunks Hauling Junk and Moving has you covered. Honest. Uniform. Nice. Service. College Hunks hauling junk and moving. Eight runs on eight hits, two errors in the bottom half of the first. It's 8 2. It is the Circle City Conference Game of the Week. It's Indiana SRN. Wes Snyder, Keith Myers. Stick and uh, Jerry Collins with us. Jerry almost talks as much as Stick does. Yeah, pretty close. Gavin Crawford back out for any number two for the Eagles. You know, now if you're Crawford, all of a sudden you go, okay, my, you know, my team can score some runs here. All I have to do is just settle down and throw strikes, 
and they're going to get guys out. Yeah, let his defense let his defense help him out here a little bit. And you've got the eight and eight nine and one coming up for the uh, uh, Bishop Shatar Trojans. Right fielder Starlipper. Top of the second. Now batting number five, Starlipper. Let's see if Gavin Crawford can throw some strikes here. Here comes the pitch. Strike one on the inside corner to Starlipper. That's probably what you wanted to see Gavin Crawford come out and do. Just come out and throw some strikes and let his defense help him out a little bit. Defense straight away for Starlipper. There's a foul ball right off the end of the bat. Makes a count 0-2. Couple good pitches from Gavin Crawford here to start the top of the second inning. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. There's one row oh, right nice. back to the pitcher. What a what a great pickup by Gavin Crawford. Right back at him. Crawford to Ambrose. Get Starlipper out. That ball was tagged really hard. Yes, coach. it was. And uh, he didn't move. He didn't flinch. That's a good thing. <laughs> Convalenka, the first baseman, ninth hitter, up to bat for the Trojans. Here comes the first pitch to Convalenka. There's a foul ball down the right field line. Tagged that one pretty good, but, but just a little bit foul. Zero balls, one strike. You know, you look at this. You get this. You get it one, two, three here. You, you, you really, Chittard might have the flat tire here. There's a ball inside. Evens up to count one and one. Though I will tell you what, Mike Harmon's teams never <laughs> quit. <laughs> Crawford from the windup. There's one off the end of the bat. Slow roller, Crawford. Throwing it to Ambrose, not in time. Infield single for Convalenka. That one kind of right off the end of the bat, right where no one could get it. You got Convalenka with an infield single at first base. One out. It's going to bring up the top of the lineup. Center fielder Kinnett up to bat. Single by Convalenka. Now batting. So we'll see what, here, what they'll throw here. That ball gets away from the catcher. That ball got away from Baird a little bit. Convalenka goes to second base. So it's a 1-0 count here on Kennett. 1-0 pitch. That one's popped up to right field. Fields is underneath of it. He gets that ball. Convalinka does not tag up. Here comes a throw in. Nice catch, nice throw in for out number two for the Eagles. And I'm telling you what, that's in. that was definitely in the sun. Yeah, that was a hard and Oh. Just been told, actually, we, we switched Donovan outfielders. Dorsch. Yep. Dorsch is the one who made that catch out in right field. He moved from left to right and fields move from right to left so sorry about that that was Dorsch with the catch not fields how about that uh, staff getting us that's right right give the assist give her a popcorn oh one is now a swing and a miss oh and two oh and two the count on Duncan the second baseman I played left out where'd you play <laughs> Uh, I actually played center field, Coach. Uh, okay, well, great. Oh, that's another one that gets away from the catcher. Barrett. Kennett advances to third base. So you still got Duncan. Or actually, I apologize. That's Convalinka that's out there on third base. One and two pitch to Duncan. Oh, there's a hard hit ball right up the middle. Single, that'll score Convalinka from third base. Nice hard hit single by Duncan. Gets a run in for the um, 
Trojans makes it eight to three. It's a good piece of hitting. two out hitting. You know, you had a one and two count. And he drove the ball. He did. He drove it. How bad? So now the shortstop, Palakin, comes up to bat. Another left-hander for Jerry. Steps out of the batter's box. I may count wrong, but I think there's 11 or, no, nine left-handed batters tonight. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Crawford to Palakin. Nope, back to first base. Runner back in time. Safe at first. Duncan with a nice size lead out there. Here comes the pitch. Strike one called to Palakin. 0 and 1. Duncan getting a pretty big lead out there. Yeah, that secondary lead is a really good, Wes. Crawford coming home. Oh, nice no. curveball. Curve ball. Strike two called. That was a great curve by that was dancing. Gavin Crawford. 0-2, oh two, two outs, one run in here in the top of the second. Back to first, Duncan back safely. Crawford coming home with the 0-2. There's another curveball. High fly ball at the left field. Oh, and Fields drops it. Here comes a runner. Duncan comes from first to third. I got to think that's going to be a an E7. E7 is correct. Second error of the night for... Eagles. And that's just a frustration. You know, you, you you get you get the ball where you want to go and Well you had a you had it up uh, had him in the hole 0 and two. Just a pop fly to left. That's one you want to have back right there, I'm sure. Here bring uh, brings up uh, Ane, the the cleanup hitter for the Trojans. Gavin Crawford digs in on the mound. First pitch. A little high. 1 and 0 to the cleanup hitter in A. Trojans have runners on third and first. Two outs, one in so far. Here comes a 1 0 pitch from Crawford. Not quite. You know, they fake the ball to third. Yeah, they outlawed that in college uh, college baseball. You can't do that. You got to either throw or do something with it. You can't you know, you can't go fake them out anymore. There's another ball high, so 2-0. and oh. And I think that did, did do that because it confused everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want everyone to be confused, well, Coach. Back, uh, back, in the, well, back in the day when I umpired, if it looked weird, you called it a balk because you didn't know what else to call it. <laughs> Here comes a 2-0 pitch. Just a bit outside, 3-0 and oh now Coach goes to clean up so a nay. Coach come out and say, what, what's wrong? I said, he fooled me. I, I, I'm fooled. That's a balk. <laughs> I don't know why you don't umpire anymore, Coach. <laughs> because I was fooled all the time. <laughs> Here comes the 3-0 pitch of the cleanup hitter, and they ball four just on the outside corner. That's going to load him up. I'm going to load him up. It's going to bring up Sitzman, the DH. If you're Crawford, you really need to get this guy. You just only have the one run in. Don't let him get any more. Now you've got the bases loaded with two outs. Bases loaded, two outs. Sitzman up to bat. Crawford getting ready to deal home with the first pitch. Swing and a miss. It's a nice pitch low and outside by Crawford. 0-1-1. You want to stay ahead here. Yeah, if you're Crawford, you really want to stay ahead of this guy. Don't get behind. 0-1-1, oh, one, one. two outs. Here comes the second pitch. Curve ball. I don't know if they were talking if they thought it hit him or hit his jersey. I 
I don't think it hit his jersey. I think it right. hit his bat, to be honest with you. Well, the catcher caught it clean. I don't know that it hit anything. It was a it? nice little curveball. I yeah. will tell you that. I don't know that it hit anything. Coaches are talking. Umpires are talking. Coach and I are talking. Yep. Everyone's just talking to each other. Let's see if we have a. But look at Stick. Just quiet. Stick just hanging on the camera. I think at the end of the day, that's just going to be ball one. Didn't hit him, didn't hit the bat. That's what it is, Coach. That's interesting. Just, just ball one. Yep. So one and one count now. Oh, oh I'm sorry, 0-2. Oh, they did call it a strike. So it must have said it hit his bat. 0-2 oh, pitch fouled back behind us. Yeah, because he did call that a strike at first. And then and then it looked and see if it you got to sell that, you know, fall down, <laughs> right? <laughs> Grab your wrist or something. Yeah. Oh, it hurt. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Crawford, 0-2, two, two outs. Popped up. Catcher's underneath of it. And he catches that ball in foul territory for out number three. So just one run in for the Trojans, 8-3. Good play by Zane Barnett for right. the third out. The car you want, the way you want, at TomWood.com. We want to thank our sponsors for putting their talent on Indiana SRN. And there, we ask you to go out and support the sponsors that support kids on internet, radio, and TV right here on Indiana SRN. If you like more information about that, you can contact us at Coach at Indiana SRN. One run for Chittard in the top half of the second inning makes the score 8-3. We're heading to the bottom of the second, and here's Wes. We're going to have Jason Lewis up. He was up to bat when, when Asher Thompson was thrown out trying to steal second base at the end of the last inning, so Jason Lewis is still up. Shortstop, 8-3. Could have been a big inning for the uh, Trojans last inning, but uh, Crawford got out of it with the bases loaded, left the bases loaded out there. Our schedule for tomorrow will be at Garen Catholic tomorrow afternoon, 5.30 start once again as Garen Catholic taking on Kevin and Christian. Join us tomorrow, please. First pitch to Lewis. Outside for ball one. Right, Coach, I just got a text here. My daughter Lily says, tell Keith I said hi. <laughs> Lily. Thank the, you so much. The 1-0 pitch to shortstop Lewis. Another hard hit ball to third base. Oh, took a funny hop right off the grass there. It's going to be a single for Lewis. That was just bad luck for the uh, third baseman. That took a funny hop right when it, right where the grass meets the dirt. Took a funny hop. And you know, w w let's just talk a little bit about that. This is a natural turf, a natural green grass. Chatard plays on that artificial turf. That would probably take a true hop for him back home, and it didn't do that here. So that's the disadvantage of sometimes playing it on that surface. That's why they call it the home field advantage. Yes, sir. Speaking of Lily, you know, I have a fan club now. I got New York listening. I got Lily listening. Oh, yeah. Man. Everyone's tuning in to hear the coach. Sticks listening to me tonight. <laughs> Sticks always here. Hardest working guy in the booth. Here comes a pitch. A little high to Halkyard. It's going to be 1 0. Lewis gets a pretty big lead off of first base. O'Brien. From the stretch, here comes the pitch. Here's another ball to third base, right through the glove. Going to be a single. Going to take Lewis a second. Halkier with a single goes to first. Tell you what, Heritage Christian can hit the ball. I tell you what, they're getting their money's worth tonight. It's going to bring up Ty Vaughn. DHing for Crawford tonight. Eagles got the start of another big inning. They scored eight in the bottom of the first. Back at it here again on the bottom of the second. Runners at second and first, and nobody out. 
Here comes the pitch to Vaughn. Strike one called. And this is really an important game for the Circle City Conference. If you look at the standing, everybody's chasing Burbuff and probably Roncalli. So you really want to get these wins. The Eagles picked up that win 9-6 to six last night. That ball's a little bit outside, evens the count one and, and one. And that game went in extra innings at the end of seven. I think that someone told me it was four to four. And it ended so up nine to six. <laughs> yeah. to tell you how many, uh, some runs were scored in those extra frames. Here comes a one one. No, he was going to second base on that one, but didn't throw the ball. Did he fake you out again, coach? No, I got it. Okay. I, I saw it. Um, <laughs> Squares up to Bunt, pulls it back, trying to steal third, safe. Runners advance second and third, kind of a double steal there. It looked like Vaughn was pulling around to Bunt. Yeah, it does look like he was doing that, didn't he? Then pulled right back and let the ball let the ball go. Runners advanced. Two and one count to Vaughn. Foul ball down the first baseline. Evens the count at two and two. You got Lewis at third, Halkyard at second. Tie Vaughn up to bat. Eagles up eight to three here in the bottom of the second inning. Nobody out. O'Brien digs in. Here's the pitch. A little low. Going to run the count full to three and two. And not only is this is a Circle City Conference game, it's also a City Alliance ball game because seating comes out Monday or Tuesday. So it's important for your seat to win this game for the Circles, uh, for the uh, City Alliance tournament. For sure. Here comes the 3-2 pitch. Just got a piece of it, fouls it back. And for the sixth year in a row, we missed last year, of course, but for the sixth time, we will be doing the semifinals and finals right here on Indiana SRN radio broadcast for the semifinals. Uh, I know Wes is going to be in the booth, and I will be in a booth for the semifinals. And then the city finals have not been determined where that where the city finals will be played out. It used to be played at the Vic, but Major League Baseball has changed that a little bit for us. Three and two pitch popped up. Is it going to stay in play? Oh, it drops in between the catcher and the third baseman. It did stay in play. Dropped right in between them. So we're going to do that one again. It's in foul territory. Stayed in play, but they just couldn't quite get to that one. Right. O'Brien digs in for the three and two pitch to Vaughn. Just got a piece of it. Oh, he's foul ball. Off. Yep. He's <laughs> what is that? His third foul ball now on the on a three and two pitch. It's nice, but. Way to battle here. Yeah. Eagles still have runners at second and third. Nobody out here at the bottom of the second. Three and two. O'Brien deals. Swing and a miss. Strike three. It's a really good pitch by O'Brien right there. And a good bat by Vaughn. Just couldn't quite pull that one out. But. Um, O'Brien gets that first out of the inning that he really needed. Chased him with that fastball up. Yep. Brings up first baseman Seth Ambrose. Still got Lewis at third. Halkyard at second. Another lefty Seth Ambrose up to bat. Here comes the pitch. Inside. Almost hit him with that one. Inside. Makes it a 1-0. Third base coach Ambrose giving all the signals. Mostly verbally. Here comes the 1-0 pitch. No. Was wanting to go back to second with that one, and no one was there to throw it to. Infield in for the Trojans. I think they're going to try to stop this run. They are going to try to stop the run. Infield in. Everyone up on the grass. Ambrose takes a strike. Evens the count at 1-1. One and one. Outfield all at regular depth. Infield in on the grass, trying to cut anything off at home. They say no more runs. Here comes a 1-1 to Ambrose. That's a high strike. Wow. High strike. Makes it makes it one and two. That's the first time he's called that strike. <laughs> 
He smells that popcorn, Wes. That's right. Here comes a one and two pitch to Ambrose. Low and inside. Doesn't get away far enough from the catcher for anyone to advance. Lewis out there on third base was thinking about it, but made the wise choice of staying home. Evens, evens account two and two on Ambrose. And he's thrown like three inside balls to him. Yeah. And see if he's going to go He's working that inside again. corner. Yep. Ambrose pumps it up. Is it going to get out of play? Yes, out of play. Ambrose fouls it off to the right side just past the our fence. Our producer parked his car over that way. You, you notice he got up and made sure that it didn't hit his car. I think Stick parked over there too. Still two and two on Ambrose. One out. Still got Lewis and Halk out on the bases. Here comes a pitch. Oh. Strike three called. Another one on the inside corner, Coach. He really worked Ambrose on the inside. Got the called strike three. Uh, those second, pitches, most of those out. were inside on the inside corner of the plate. It's going to bring up Tyler Fields. Started in right field, moved on left. Ball outside, 1-0. and You really want to get that run in, though, right here if you're Heritage Christian. Well, it's been a really good um, a couple batters for O'Brien. This could have been a really big inning for the Eagles, but two outs now. Curveball inside, 2-0. and Coach Harmon asking where, the, where that was. <laughs> oh, there's a ball that gets away from the catcher. Here comes the runner in from third. He's going to be safe. Eagles do get that run home. Make it 9-3. to three. Lewis scoring on that. Halkyard moves up from second base to third. Count goes to 3-0 and oh on fields. And if your field's here, you take this one. Here comes the 3 0. High, ball four. Fields goes on to first base. I think that was the same pitch. It was a strike with the last batter, <laughs> Ambrose. <laughs> yeah, Fields only 5 5 4, 5 6. Right. Ambrose 6 okay. 3. Okay. Doors, right fielder up the bat. Pitch one to him is low and inside. 1 0. He's still got Halkyard out at third base. Fields at first. Dorsch up to bat. Playing right field now. One run in for the Eagles and two outs. Here comes the 1 0 pitch. Just a little outside. 2 0. Coach O'Brien has thrown a lot of pitches these first inning yeah, and two-thirds. Yeah, you just wonder how many he's going to let him throw tonight. Here comes a 2-0. That pitch is high, 3-0. and You definitely don't want to throw over 100 pitches for the kid, you know, maybe 105, but maybe max if you want. But with the uh, innings limitations that you have now, here comes a 3-0 pitch. That ball is high and outside for ball four. It's going to get it. Base is loaded now. And I don't think he came even close to the plate that time. Not that one. You're going to, it's going to bring up the catcher, Barnett. Take a look at Coach Harmon as he walks onto the dugout, uh, onto the diamond. Don't forget, Indiana SRN is your spring sports station. As we'll have some lacrosse games uh, for you uh Later in the month of May, we also have the lacrosse state finals this year. Looking forward to that, determining where that will be played. Looking forward to that and some baseball as well. And congratulations to Dan, uh, Dave Gandalf from Sassina. Got his 800 win last night. Wow. Yeah, I called him this morning. I said, 
you, did you count your peewee games with that? And he goes, no, that's 800 high school games. And I said, holy smokes, i tell you how many years he's been around. That's a lot right there. That young man has been coached a lot of baseball. So here's the bases loaded. Oh, there's a shot on the first pitch to Barnett. Oh, a diving almost right fielder almost made a diving catch. One run in, two runs in. It's going to get two runs home for the Eagles on the first pitch with the bases loaded. Barnett laced one to right field. The right fielder just about made a great catch, but came up just short. Made a long single. And our condolences to the Indiana Pacers and Nancy Leonard. As boom baby Slick oh, Leonard Andrew passed away. 88 years young, passed away today. Saw an interview with him. He was a top-notch guy and loved Jesus. Wiggins on again on the first pitch. Laces one to center field. That ball drops in for a single. Dorsch is going to score from third base. It's going to make it 12-3. to three. Another five runs, or I'm sorry, four runs for the Eagles here this inning. Wiggins jumped on that first pitch. Two batters in a row uh, jumping on the first Our pitch, best. hitting two hard hit balls. How about in Asher Thompson? Hmm. It's going to bring up second baseman Asher Thompson. O'Brien really laboring out there right now. You know, you there's think, a strike to Thompson. You think of the the things that Bobby Leonard brought to Indiana, the Pacers, and you go back to the um, back in the day where you had the telethon and you know the great coaching and the great look with the <laughs> leisure suit, the bell bottoms. Ooh, that ball hit Thompson. Hit Thompson. That's going to load him up. Thompson at first, Wiggins at second, Barnett at third. Going to load him up for Jason Lewis. And. Court captured that fra phrase, boom baby, that boom everybody baby. uses. Huh? He had a lot of boom babies when, when Reggie was playing. I think this might be the last trip for Harbin. There was a replay with the, the hit batsman there, Asher Thompson. Looks like O'Brien is going to be out of the game. We'll take a break, and we'll come back with the pitching change right after this. Looking for a great family experience? Well, look no further than Indy's best campground, KOA Indianapolis. RV sites, tents, cabins, and glamping. It's just minutes away. The kids will love the new splash park, horses, and summer activities. Whether you're roasting marshmallows around the campfire for gooey s'mores, enjoying our amazing pizza delivered to your site, or hand-dipped ice cream, don't forget to visit our gift shop boutique where you'll find supplies of all your gift and camping needs. Go on KOA.com to book or call us at 317-894-1397. Mention Indiana SRN for a free bundle of firewood. Back in the action as uh, Isaiah Ford takes the mound. Number 24 checks into the game to pitch for the Trojans. He's going to try to stop the bleeding here with the bases loaded. You know, no, you come in as a relief pitcher and you look at the scoreboard and you go, thanks, coach, it's 12-3. to 3. What do you want me to do? Just get the ball over the plate and let's get some outs. That's right. We got, you know, all this happened with two outs. Yeah. You know, they uh, uh, O'Brien had two outs. Runners at second, third, and two outs. And he just couldn't get that third out, and it kind of opened the floodgates for him. Ford just finishing up his, his warm-up pitches. For everyone out there that wants uh, you know, they just love listening to us, Coach. We're going to be at Garen Catholic tomorrow night calling the Garen Covenant Christian ball game. Yep. You done a nice job, huh? First game in, first game in the saddle. And Feel pretty good. You know, it's a little bit different than volleyball, but you know what? It's okay. Uh, what, I, what I'm what i impressed with is the notebook that you have with all the things <laughs> that, that you need. I mean, you came prepared. I really appreciate that. I did. I Well, maybe not a notebook. Just have a, have a mind like but, a steel trap. But there's no shirt and tie required anymore. You don't have to wear a shirt and tie. Well, now you tell me. Yeah, well, I just want to let you know. Stick's looking good, though. Yes. He's got his tie on. <laughs> well, it's that yellow tie. <laughs> you know, Jared bought him that tie. Jared bought that tie 
uh, for him for Christmas. Stick just got a hot dog. What's going on with that stick? He's probably going to watch the camera with one hand, folks. So if it moves a little bit, we'll let you know. Oh, another on a Ford's first pitch of the game. Hits Jason Lewis in the back. That's going to score another run, make it 13-3. to Looks like he tried to throw a curveball there that just did not break. My scoreboard looks like my scorebook looks like chicken scratches. <laughs> I, I'm moving another two. We're still in the second inning, Coach. Oh yeah. It's going to bring up the cleanup hitter, Jack Halkyard, third baseman. Hi, ball one. With high school baseball, though, 10 runs is not enough, I'm telling you. We've seen it happen, haven't we? Yes, we have. Got the bases loaded. Halkyard up to bat. 1-0 and count. Two outs. There's a strike. 1-1. One and one. One and one count. Four digs in, pitching from the stretch. A little bit inside, two and one. Just wants to get this one over the plate. Does not want to go three and one with the bases loaded, no, Coach. No, And at three, one, you know, because at full count, they're all going to take off running on you, too. That's so. right. Two outs. Here comes the pitch. Foul ball. Just got a piece of that one. How you just got a little piece of that. Found it straight back. It's going to even the count at two and two. Looked at the calendar day. There's only five weeks of school in most in most cases of, with the the schools that are that we have on the, the network. And Isn't that crazy? How about that? We made it through the year. What a year it's been! It has been a year. Here comes a pitch foul back. Had a good cut at that one. Fouled it straight back. Count remains even at two and two. And that was not stick falling. That that was the second <laughs> camera that hit the net. It, Stick is still in good shape. Four digs in, deals a two-two. Oh, oh, nice curve! What ball. a pitch! Halkyard was was uh, fortunate just to kind of get a little piece on that one. Good curve ball there by Ford. Excellent pitch. Halkyard fought it off, lives to fight another day. Count remains two and two, two outs, bases loaded, five runs in for the Eagles to make it thirteen to three. Ford looks in. Here comes the pitch. Oh, there's a line drive right to left field. Oh, he caught it. Outstanding diving catch by Albright with the bases loaded. Had that not get caught, he, he would have. I think they would have scored all three runs. I Great so. catch. Back to the broadcast, Keith Myers, Wes Snyder, 13-3. to All Eagles so far. Gavin Crawford back out to the man mound for the Eagles. His offense scored another five runs for him to go up 13-3. to We said the same thing last inning. Just throw strikes, let your defense get some outs for you at this point. Yeah, we talked about how Heritage Christian has – their games full this week, and here uh, Chittard has some games still lined up. They've checked out their websites, both schools. Their schedule is on that website. Come out and support these kids. They deserve it. I mean, they, Chittard right now down 13-3, but they deserve a lot of people because I tell you what, they were cooped up for a year and, and missed <laughs> missed their season. It's nice that they we're playing baseball. Like we said earlier in the broadcast, first came first game in a year that we're back at Coach, so we are excited to be here. Beautiful night for baseball, 66 degrees. Full sun. Here comes the first pitch. A little high. You know, last night they played that game at Chittard with a little rain, and that turf field really helped. You come out here today and this diamond bone drive ready to play. 
All right up to bat. He fouls that one off. Good down old. past the third base. Evens the count at one and one. Good old Indiana man. Stick around for four day, uh, <laughs> uh, two or three minutes, and it's going to change. But we do have beautiful weather right now. Albright, the left fielder, he made that fantastic catch to end the previous half inning. Swing and a miss there for a second strike. One and two the count. You ready for a trivia question? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Who wore number 44 and hit 715 home runs for the Atlanta Braves? Well, unfortunately, we lost him this past year. Hammering Hank Aaron. There you go. There's a uh, there was a fly ball to first base. Seth Ambrose stayed in in uh, in play for a fair ball. Sean's telling me I'm giving you two easy questions. So, <laughs> well, don't give me anything too hard. Uh, I, I, that's why I wanted to ask you because <laughs> if you didn't know, I had to look it up. I looked it up. So, it's going to bring up third baseman Gilliam. One out here in the top of the third. There's a swing, pops it up. Is the catcher going to have room to get it? Oh, he does right at the fence. Great play by uh, Barrett, the catcher. And that uh, was right in their camera shot. That's pretty awesome. That was a great play by Barnett there. Really good. Threw great off that mask Barnett. like you're taught and, and uh, caught it right up against the fence. Starlipper. Right fielder Starlipper up to bat. Two quick outs for the Eagles. Gavin Crawford on the mound. Pitching from the windup. Here's pitch one. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Starlipper, the eight-hole hitter in the uh, Trojan lineup. Here comes the 0-1. That one's a little low. Bounced up there for even the count, one and one. Got some scores for you. You got Plymouth taking on Triton. 10-7 in the fifth inning. Elwood and Frankton 2-1 in the third. Jay County and Eastbrook. There's a swing and a miss. 1-2. and 7-1 in the third. Linton Stockton and Bloomfield 5-3. And Winnemac is taking on Rochester. The Zebras 8-3 bottom in the fifth. 1-2 pitch. Foul past the third base. Coach with a good pickup over there. Even the coach is left-handed tonight. <laughs> Everyone out there is left-handed. Count one and two. Two outs here in the top of the third. Crawford with the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike out to end. One, two, three. Good inning for the Eagles. There's no greater anti-poverty measure than to give a person a job that helps them start to change that trajectory. Morales Group is a full-service staffing company that provides temporary labor uh, in the Indianapolis, Central Indiana market. It was a challenge that was given by my father. He wanted me to give back much more than I had been. Then I realized that when he said more, he wanted me to see how I could give more. And it wasn't just in money, but in time and in services. And that's how the Morales Group was created. I started off at Morales Group as an intern. I interned for three years before going on full-time staff year. What I love most about Morales Group is that big family aspect. Um, I come from a big family in Mexico. And since the company is continuously growing, I feel like there's always a new member of the family that I get to know. We're willing to give. We're willing to serve others. And we're not expecting something in return. Come talk to us. We would love to work with you. Welcome back to the ballpark. It's uh, Horizon uh, Heritage Christian. Sorry about that. Heritage Christian, 13-3. That is not a misprint, folks. We are going to the bottom of the third inning. Chittard has substitute. Ben right now will be playing third base. And Gilliam is, goes to first base. So they're playing musical chairs there for you, Wes. <laughs> I'm trying to get it right over here. Ford still out pitching for the Trojans. Just finishing up his warm-up tosses. 
the Eagles have number number eight. I'm batting for the Eagles, DH number eight, Ty Vaughn. Ty Vaughn, DH in tonight for pitcher Gavin Crawford. How about double? How about double digit uh, hits for the the Eagles tonight? They are striping the ball tonight, coach. That's for sure. Here comes a pitch from Ford, a little bit high. Ball one. Saturday is a double header game for the Eagles. They play Traders Point. Come out and watch the Eagles play on Saturday. Jackie Robinson Day at the ballpark. Senior night, I do believe, as well. Ford with a 1 0 count. A little bit high, 2 0 on Ty Vaughn to start off this inning. Need more details? We'll keep you abreast of that and might, might want to check our website as well. And what is that website, Coach? IndianaSRN.org. Here comes a 2 0 pitch. That ball is hit oh, right underneath the second baseman's glove. That's going to be a single for Ty Vaughn. Second baseman gave it a good effort. Duncan out there gave it a really good effort. Could not quite get to it. Vaughn with the single to start off here in the bottom of the third. It's going to bring up first baseman Seth Ambrose. No batting number 15, Seth Ambrose. Four goes to the stretch with the runner on first. That's a big lead. I was going to say it is a big lead. Right back over to first. He's safe. Vaughn safe back at first. You know, one of our broadcasters, uh, Sean Craw, would take that big of a lead and wouldn't, wouldn't probably get back. <laughs> Ford with the pitch. Gets away from the catcher. Ty Vaughn's going to move up to second base. Seth Ambrose takes ball one. Speaking of him, he is listening tonight. Sean Craw's listening tonight. He's our third guy in the booth uh, and will be rotating with me and Wes throughout the year. You'll have fun with Sean. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. I tell you. Here comes the pitch. Strike one called. Evens the count at one and one on Ambrose. Nice schedule we have for Indiana SRN. And thanks to Jerry Collins, our producer, to get that done for us. Got a one and one count here. Runner at second. Nobody out. Here comes the pitch. A little bit high. Two and one. Schedule tomorrow, we're at uh, Garen Catholic, 530 on April 14th. Monday the 19th, Kevin Christian is at Heritage right here. We'll be back here on the 19th. Sean and Wes will have that broadcast for you. Here comes a pitch, a little bit high. It's going to be 3-1 and one now on Ambrose. Kind of like it being here. I'm, I'm five minutes from home, and we're five or six minutes from the studios. It makes it kind of nice. Can you guarantee us this weather every game, Coach? I'll try to guarantee it Monday for you. <laughs> Here comes the three and one. That one's outside. Ambrose with the walk. I will Ambrose be on walk. assignment on Monday. Where are you at? Picking up the wife from the oh, airport. That's, that's right. my assignment. That's right. She's coming back. Time out by Coach Harmon. Looks like there might be another pitching change here. We will. Welcome Debbie back from New York. Looks like that's going to be in the night for Ford. Ford looks like he's going to third. Why do you think he made that change? We'll see who's coming in to pitch here. So. We'll catch the changes here real quick with Coach. Looks like the center fielder number 24, Brady Kinnett, is in the pitch. A sports degree that is beyond the game? A degree that immerses you from day one and launches you into the business side of sports. With a sports management major from IUPUI's School of Health and Human Sciences, you'll have insider access to sports professionals and will learn from faculty with years of teaching and industry experience. 
There isn't a better city than Indianapolis to get the experience you need to launch your sport industry career. And we're back. Center fielder uh, Connect coming into pitch, number 24. Ford has went to third base. Convalinka back to first. And we'll check on center field, okay? Right now I don't have the center fielder, so I'll take a look at that and see. Get Kenneth, that right back to it. Kenneth has just finishing up his warm-up pitches. And this is the third pitcher for uh, Shatara, so. Third you, pitcher here in the bottom of the third. The Eagles are going to have Tyler Field, to, the left fielder, up to bat. Got runners at first and second. Nobody out. Playing this good, you just want to see the ball over and over and over again. For sure. It would be a big win. Like you said, uh, it would be a big win for the Eagles in, in the um, in the conference. If you can sweep last night and a night yeah. against a quality team like the Trojans, you're doing they, good. And, folks, you, they are a quality team. Don't, don't, you know, don't underestimate this team. First pitch of fields outside, 1-0. And you look at this Eagle Ball Club, the schedule they play, I mean, they they play th a lot of 3 and 4A schools and get ready for their 2A Swing program. Swing and a miss. Yeah, they do play a tough schedule. I think we had the um, uh, Chittard at 6 and 2 maybe coming yes, into sir. this game. Mm -hmm. um, 1 and 1 on fields. Here comes the pitch. That ball is hit right over the third baseman's head. Let's see. He's going to hold up the runner at third. It's going to have the bases loaded with nobody out. It's another well-hit ball by the Eagles. Shatard beat Ritter 11-1, uh, to one, and uh, then Hauser 11-6, to six, Cecina 13-6. Garen lost to Garen, uh, beat Garen 7-6, and then lost to, uh, I'm sorry, lost to Garen 7-8, beat Garen 11-10. Beat Shortridge 14 to 4 and the oh, there's a ball. Dorsch smokes a ball in the gap in between center and right field. That's going to clear a lot of the bases. There's one run in. Here comes two and three. That one cleared all the bases. That gets three runs home. That ball was roped by Dorsch. Right in the gap in between center and right field. That's one of the hardest hit balls we've seen tonight. We've seen a lot of them. Yep. That clears the bases. Makes it 16 to three, Eagles. You know we do a lot of heritage games, as you know, baseball, basketball, a lot of volleyball. That John Dorsch, we played. He played basketball on that basketball team. Uh, it's nice to see these kids play all three sports. Sure is. Oh, here's a ball. That's a, a loop, just oh, fair, fair, right over the first baseman's head. It looks like Dorsch is going to get waved home from second base. Here comes the throw, not quite in time. Dorsch is going to score. Make it 17-3. to three. That's the fourth run this inning, and we still have no outs, Coach. That was one of the that was one of the singles that has not been hard hit hard tonight. Watch this we, we play here. I mean, this is right down the line here. Just right over the top of the first baseman's head. That's oh, that, no, that no, was that's Dorsch's yep. in the capper. Yep. Wiggins up to bat. Takes ball one high and outside. You know now is if you're Coach Ambrose, do you do you want to save some of these times on these close <laughs> games, right? Wiggins with the oh he single right in between first base and second base. Barnett's going to stay at second. Another hit for Wiggins. Almost like a hit and run there, wasn't it? Yeah. Single for Luke Holloway gets his warm up and goes out to get to go to the second base. Courtesy runner Holloway back in the game. It's going to bring up Asher Thompson, second baseman. Eagles have runners on second and first. Still nobody out. There's another hard hit ball right up the middle. Drops right in front of the center fielder. 
runners were held at, at third. So we're going to have the bases loaded again. And up Holloway on third, Wiggins on second, Asher Thompson on first with that single. Another hard hit ball right up the middle. It's going to bring up Jason Lewis as shortstop. He's coming up with the bases loaded and nobody out. And folks, not to bang a drum or anything, but the first out of the game was a run at home plate. <laughs> and then it just, that woke up. That woke well, up that the ball gets away from Eagles. the catcher. Here comes Holloway in to score. He's going to score easily standing up. It's going to make it 18-3. to Fifth run of the inning for the Eagles and still nobody out. Wiggins goes to third. Thompson goes to second. New pitcher Kennett has still struggled to get it out here. That ball's a little low and outside, 2 0. That ball's pretty close, coach, at 18 3. I'm, I'm expecting that one to be a strike next time. Oh, oh my. Oh, about took the pitcher's head off with that one. Another ball hit hard right up the middle. Wiggins scores. Lewis is trying to get to second. He's going to be out at second base. Tried to tried to steal one there going from first to second, and the cutoff man went right back to second base. Got him out for the first out of the Lewis inning. Thompson still standing on third second. base, did not score on that. And that's great sportsmanship by Coach Ambrose because he could have actually – had that kid score, did not. So, good sportsmanship. So, the first out of the inning, it's going to bring up Jack Houck, your third baseman, cleanup hitter. He fouls that one back 0-1. They batted around in the first. They batted around in the second, and they are close to doing it again. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss. 0-2. Nice pitch by Kennett. Took a little bit of something off that one and just a nice pitch. 0-2, oh one out, six runs in here for the Eagles. There's another ball. Hard hit to second base. Second baseman's going to go over to first. Out. Makes a second out of the inning. Thompson does come in to score to make it 20-3. to three. And it's gonna, comes Vaughn. It's going to bring up Vaughn. Does that get us around for the inning, yes, Coach? Yes, sir. It's going to bring up Ty Vaughn. Nobody on base, two outs. Kenneth's going to go back to the windup now. There's a nice pitch. Dropped a curveball in for strike one. 0-1 on Vaughn. Here comes the 0-1. There's another nice pitch, 0-2. He's giving him two curveballs in a row. What do you think, Coach? He's going to uh, go three for three I here? I would throw the curveball here. Here it comes. There's another curveball just a little bit high. He did not miss by much on that one. It's going to make it one and two, two outs. Nobody on base. Ty Vaughn just a bit outside. It's going to even the count at two and two. Both of those last two pitches by Kennett did not miss by much. Here comes a 2-2. Fouled off. Over the fence, down the left field line. Nice little crowd on hand tonight. Well, it is a beautiful night for baseball. Blankets are coming out, though. <laughs> Sun's coming down. Here comes a pitch. It's going to be a grounder to the first baseman. It's going to be three unassisted for the out there. Eagles do pick up seven additional runs in that inning. It's the Frells family's land. When the sun comes out, the kids run and play right there. This used to be a shed. Now, it's where they get breakfast. This is more than just land. It's home. The Frells family runs with us on a John Deere 1 Series tractor. This land isn't the only thing that should live on for generations. Nothing runs like a deer. Search John Deere 1 Series for more. Visit Reynolds Farm Equipment, your hometown John Deere dealer today at ReynoldsFarmEquipment.com. 
We want to thank Reynolds, and we also want to thank you for listening and watching Indiana SRN. If you'd like to drop us a line, you can drop us a line at coach at indianasrn.org. Comment on our, our game. You, we take good or bad comments. It doesn't really matter. Please, <laughs> please let us know. So let's watch this. Here's the the gapper with the runs here. Yeah, this is the one that cleared the bases. This is the door shut that right in the gap cleared the bases. 17, uh, 20 runs on 17 hits. I tell you what, the Eagles brought the bats tonight for sure. Crawford still out pitching for the Eagles. Top of the fourth, 20 to three, all Eagles so far. Looks like we got a new catcher. Holloway in for number 24, Tyler Fields. Holloway in for Fields. For the left field. And it looks like we have a new catcher. It is I don't nope, think so. We've got the same catcher. Yeah. Barnett's so, still in there to yeah. catch. Holloway gets to go to left field. Chittard's going to start off with the ninth hitter. First baseman, Kambalinka. First baseman, third baseman, then back to first baseman, Kambalinka. Crawford from the windup. And the first pitch is high and outside, 1-0. I think if you're Chittard here, just want to string together a few hits just get some confidence back in you yep get some get a few hits get some runners on base and just see what happens pitch number two is strike one and one Crawford deals there's a hard hit ball to the shortstop oh and he boots it Lewis there with the just couldn't he has a hard hit ball just couldn't quite handle it. We'll wait and see. I assume that's going to be an E six on that one. The official scorekeeper says E six. I kind of like sitting right next to him because he's <laughs> right there. It's going to bring up the top of the lineup. Pitcher Kennett. First pitch loan outside, 1 0. Get Convalink on first base. Kennett up to bat. Nobody out here in the top of the fourth. Ball goes back. Convalink slides back into first, but safe. Crawford back from the stretch, back to first base, close but safe. He's got a pretty good move over there he, to first. He does. There's a hard hit ball out to left field. Drops right in front of the left fielder. Going to have runners at first and second. Convalinka on second base. That's Kennett on first. Nice hard hit single there. Trojans have um, put a couple hard hit balls back to back, get some runners at second and first. It's going to bring up second baseman Duncan. You know, we talked about our sponsors and the sponsors with, with us all year. I want to thank KOA and Reynolds and College Hunks and Movers, been with us all year long. Strike one. Good camping weather, isn't it? If you like to camp. Oh, oh you're not a camper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. Well, KOA is the place to go, though. Sean, uh, oh yeah, that was it. <laughs> I'm with Jerry on that one. I'm with Jerry on that one. Jerry, Jerry camp out for Jerry is a Hotel Six and big screen TV. The KOA there in Greenfield, go out and see those folks. Mention Indiana SRN. You get a. Oh, block. there's a hard hit ball to left field. It's going to be in the gap. It's going to get at least one home. Could be, I don't know, hard hit ball. That's another. Duncan with a really hard hit ball. They're in the gap between left and center. For number 14, Aiden Duncan. 
Finish that thought. If you uh, mention K uh, Indiana SRN, you get a firewood. Really? A bundle, yeah, a bundle of firewood for your charge. How about that? That's outstanding. Oh, yeah. Got a little break in the action here. Coach coming out to talk to Crawford. This is, this is the pitching coach. You can tell it's the pitching coach because he's got the clipboard. You know, <laughs> clipboard, this is where you pitch this guy. Pitching coach is probably, you know, one of those guys that are at the computer figuring out where to go and all those things. My pitching coach just told me to throw strikes. I couldn't do that very well. I was well. going to say, did you listen to him? No, I didn't do that very well at all. <laughs> Chittard's going to have runners at uh, second and third. Got the uh, Palak in the shortstop, the third man in the lineup, third hole up. I think if that's a pitching coach out there, you're just telling him, we got to get some outs. Yep. You know, we got we got lots of runs on the board here. Let's just get some outs. See if we can not make this a really big inning for Chittard. But if you're the Trojans, you're just wanting more hits. Single here brings two home. Mm. 1-0. Placking up to bat. Crawford dealing. 1-0 count. Got runners at second and third. Really big lead out at second base. Here comes a pitch. Out to left field. It's going to drop in front of the left fielder. One run's going to score. Other runner held at third base. And Duncan was at third base before the the <laughs> other kid took <laughs> off the third base. Like, oh, you're, I better move. I think Duncan was pretty sure that the uh, uh, left fielder, uh, Holloway, wasn't going to catch that one. Uh, he was already standing there. You're a little scary, though. Uh, here comes a catcher, Ane. Cleanup banner for your Trojans. I tell you what, the Trojans are got something going here. They do. They do. They got runners at first and third. Still nobody out. Got two runs in. Crawford deals. That was a ball. And if you're Coach Ambrose, you want to go as much as you can with Crawford with a lot of games left, to, you know, a few games to play got this week. For sure. He hasn't, you know, he had one, two, three last and He hasn't thrown a ton of pitches tonight. There's another ball, makes it 2-0. and oh. Anae digs in. Here comes a pitch. Back to first base from Crawford. Lacking slides safely back in. Crawford 2 0. There's a swing and a miss. Got him to swing at a pitch a little bit high there. Fastball a little bit high. Got him to take a swing at it. Makes it 2 and 1. Nope, that ball's up in your eyes. You think, man, I can hit that <laughs> a mile. When Looks like a beach ball when you get him up there. Here comes a pitch. Strike 2 called on the outside corner. Evens the count at two and two. Crawford would love to get this guy, get the first out of the inning. Looks like there's some action in the bullpen. Crawford faked the, the pick off to third base. Now back on the mound. Crawford set. Dealing the 2 2. A little bit high. Couldn't get him to chase that one, coach. Mm -hmm. It's going to make the count full. 3 and 2. Nobody out here. We'll see if the coach sends the runners on a full count with nobody out. See if he's taken off from first base here. The runner is going. Ball 4. That ball didn't miss by a whole lot, coach. I do believe that. Crawford won it out as a strike. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little outside. Got it. Countryman. Con countryman back in as a courtesy runner for a nay. Number, now, number 31, Sitzman, the DH comes up. Now what you do, you play double, double play depth. You just get two here. 
Yeah, if you're the Eagles, you just want a double play. There's a foul ball down the third baseline. Ah, Coach Harmon, good job. Look at that. Must be that lefty again. Oh and one bases loaded, still nobody out. Two runs in for the Trojans. Crawford deals. Ball gets away from the catcher, but not quite far enough for anyone to score. It's going to even the count at one and one. You know, you look at the City Alliance and Cathedral playing pretty well. Um, we got the last couple of weeks: Heritage Christian, Shatara, Ritter. Always a neat little tournament. There's a pop fly. Second that's, baseman's calling everyone off. Oh, and it goes right over his head. That should have been an infill fly rule. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Did they call it? What are they? Or they just got him out at second base on a force out. They did score a run there. I think the sun kind of got in, in uh, uh, Thompson's eyes there, maybe. I don't know why. Wait a minute. They did not call the infill fly rule. They didn't rule. call it. It should have been called, but it wasn't. I don't know if you can call it after the fact. Yeah, the, the the runner, the batter should have been immediately called out. Right. And then you run at your risk. So we'll see what happens We'll here. see if they take that run off the board and put him back at third base. Is that two outs then? I can't tell if that's two outs. If they're calling him, are they saying that the batter's out and the force out at second base? I think he's confused. He's just going to call a balk. No, I don't. <laughs> now I'm confused. Is there two outs or is this just one out? Well, the guy at second is definitely out on the force out, but he was looking at the at the guy on first like he was going to call the batter out for the infield fly. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure what. We'll have to have someone explain to us, Coach, kind of what's going on. Yeah, because by my scorebook, there should be one. There's one out. Yeah, you've got the guy, the four shot just there at second. Yes. And the guy scored. And I'm sorry about the delay here but we're just watching the umpires and see what they're going to officially call here eventually we're going to have uh, the left fielder albright up to bat it appears as though we're going to have a force out at second for the first out of the inning a run's going to come in and score first base is out first base is out so that, that was the batter, correct? That was the batter. So the batter is called out. And that must be the infield fly. So n now, okay, now they're not going <laughs> to, now they're not going to call him out. He's got to be out. The batter's got to be out because the infield fly. I don't think they ever called it, though, Coach. I, I don't think they called it either. It would be nice if the umpire would turn around and help us <laughs> a little bit. I think who's on first? Okay. So they're calling an infield fly. So we've got the, the, the courtesy runner back at first. So the batter's out and everyone else just advanced. Okay, who was out then? The the banner would have been out with the infield fly. The first pitch to Albright's a swinging strike, 0 and 1. The two runners do advance, so the run counts. Okay. And, and now the 
I got you. Trojans have runner runners on first and third. Gotcha. Pitches outside to even the count one and one. Are we still at Are we still at Heritage Christian? <laughs> as far as you know, Coach. Okay, fine. As Good. far as you know. My right, goodness. <laughs> we kind of got it figured out there, we think. Here comes a pitch. Third base. Third bird. He bobbles it back over to first. Gets him out. Oh, nice, caught him out at first. Nice stretch by Ambrose to go get that ball. Nice throw by Halkyard over there on third base. He bobbled it just a little bit, but stayed with it. Went over to Ambrose. Got the out at first base. The run does score. Makes it 20-7, to seven, but there is two outs. You've still got Countryman out on second base. The courtesy runner. That ball is high. Number two, right up to bat. For the Trojans, number two, right. First pitch to him was high, makes it 1-0. and And if you're confused like we are, folks, don't worry. We'll figure it out, but uh, that's interesting. Here comes the second pitch. There's a hard hit ball right up the middle. Let's see if Wiggins is going to throw this guy out at home. Oh, what a throw by Wiggins. Oh, my goodness. That Countryman's lucky that he didn't get uh, I could didn't see get why, told to go home there. I could see why that kid is going to play college baseball. What a throw wow. by Wiggins out in center field. I think Coach Harmon had done a little bit of uh, research on the center fielder there, and he wasn't about to send him. Eighth hitter, Starlipper, up to bat. Right fielder. Crows has got runners on first and third. Crawford still out for the Eagles. Foul ball down the third baseline. Oh and one count on Starlipper. Trojans have four runs in, making it twenty to seven. Pitch is high, one and one. One and one, two outs, four runs in for the Trojans. Right fielder Starlipper up to bat. Crawford still from the stretch. Pitching, here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, making the count one and two. Crawford one pitch away from getting out of this inning. One and two pitch coming up. Bounces one up there. Going to even the count at two and two. If you're Crawford, you want to get this guy to make sure the the ninth hole opens up the, the fifth inning. Here comes a 2-2 pitch. That one gets away from the catcher. Here comes a runner. Scores from third base. Making it Five runs in for the Trojans this inning. Bring the score to 20 to 8. Number five, Starlipper. Right fielder still up to bat. Count full now, three and two. You just need to get the ball over the plate. Wright advances the second base on that. Here comes the full count. That one's popped up. Foul territory. Ambrose underneath of it squeezes it and makes the third out. Trojans do get five runs at any, bring it 20 to 8. Hey, conductor, how about something new? You played this last year. Come on, get your head out of your sacks. We're trying to hear. Well, I'm sick of tired of hearing your kid play the wrong notes. Where's my kid solo? At least you can see your kid. Why is my kid stuck way in the back? Hmm? The conductor only plays his favorite. Woo! My kid heard that solo! You see him like this? Yeah, Come yeah. on! Welcome back to the ball field. Trojans came back with five runs that inning. Making a little bit of a game of it. Number 24, Kenneth, still back into pitch. I got it. 
I figured it out. Yeah, have you figured it out with a little bit of help? It will be. Yeah, it will be in my recap tonight on on our website. So if you <laughs> check that out. Are we in the bottom of the fourth? Is that correct? We are in the All bottom right. of the fourth, Coach. First pitch was at 5.30, folks, so we're almost at two hours in the ballgame here. Let's break down our uh, schedule for you for the rest of the week. We're, we're at Garen Catholic tomorrow, Covenant Christian, Garen Catholic. Monday, Wes and Sean will be here as Covenant Christian takes on uh, Heritage Christian. On the 27th, Covenant Christian travels to Roncalli. On May 8th is the city uh, finals in softball. And also we have playoff games for you that week as well. The 13th, the City Alliance Baseball Championship game is to be determined. And then we finish our season May 14th back here at Heritage Christian as they take on Greenwood Christian. Ambrose, the first baseman up to bat. Kennett still out there pitching. First pitch a little low. 1-0 to Ambrose. So you're going to be pretty busy the next couple of days, the next couple of weeks. I can't wait because you've promised me good weather every time. Swing and a miss by Ambrose. Evens count one and one. A little high and outside, two and one to Ambrose. Bunch of games on Indiana outside in this summer. I forget the, uh, this year. I think the total count was over 300. Wow, that's fantastic. There's a hard hit ball to the second baseman. Second baseman goes down and gets it. Ambrose out at first. Nice, nice pick up there uh, by Duncan. It's going to bring Holloway up to bat. Now batting Luke Holloway. Holloway came in to play right field last inning, and now up to bat. Twenty-one for five. Here comes the first pitch to Holloway. Strike one called. Did the Trojans just make a change up there in right yep. field? Yep, 21. Taking Starlifer out of the game. Yes. There's a swing and a miss. Quick 0-2 count here now for Holloway. Again, it seems to be finding his groove out there after a little bit of a rough last inning. Pitching good right now. That one's a little gets away from the catcher a little bit outside. Eckstein is who came in to play right field for Starlipper for your uh, Bishop's Charge Trojans. Now here's a pop fly into left field. Is it going to just foul? Holloway just hit that one just a bit foul. Count remains one and two, one out. Here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Heritage up 20 to eight on Bishop Stard. One and two, one out. Here comes the pitch, just a bit outside. Evens the count at two and two. Here comes the 2-2. Two -two. There's a hard hit ball. Shortstop catches it for the second out of the inning. Palakin with the with the grab on that one. Nice play. Two down. And Jonathan Dorch now. Dorch is going to come back up. You remember last time Hot he was flame. up. He I'm hit the hardest hit ball the night last time he was up. Base is clearing double into the gap. This time he comes up with nobody on and two outs. That pitch is high, 1-0. Here comes a 1-0 to Dorsch. 
That ball's outside, 2-0. Oh. Coach might have thought that one hit the corner. I don't know. Might have. Just might have. <laughs> Here comes a 2-0 pitched. There's another hard hit ball by Doris right to the second baseman. He snaps it up on to first for the third out. I think that's Chitar's first one, two, three yes, sir. inning in the game. Myers, Vice President of Indiana SRN. Thanks for joining us. You know Indiana SRN broadcasts 350 games a year. All sorts of sports. Yeah, we do. Hard to believe, isn't it? Indiana SRN loves to put student athletes first on our website. If you're a business out there, we probably could help you too. Contact us at coach at indianasr.org. Grandma from out of state thanks you. Mom and dad who can't get to the game thanks you as well. In fact, our athletes watch the games over and over again. Our military has enjoyed the games as well. So sit back and enjoy the game. It's Indiana SRN. Welcome back, everybody. Going to go to the top of the fifth here. I'm sorry, I was dancing a little bit. So, <laughs> looks like we got a new pitcher out there for the Eagles. Number 23, Ethan Baker, coming into pitch. We got any other changes out there, Coach? I don't think so. Ethan Baker into pitch. Number 15, Kondalinka, coming up to bat. You know, this the is Trojans. When, you know, when you get the ball with the with the lead that you have here, this is when you tell just throw strikes, let everybody, you know, let your defense help you. Baker looks like he's got some speed. He looks like he had a pretty live arm out there. Yep. Just finishing up his warm-up pitches out here. Don't forget to check us out tomorrow night. Garen, Catholic, Kevin, and Christian. I think Styx is back with us tomorrow night. Styx is back with us. We couldn't do it without our cameraman, Styx. Maybe he'll bring us hot dogs tomorrow night. You notice he ate like two or three of them. <laughs> He's probably got mustard on that yellow tie. Yep. Yeah, he doesn't. it doesn't really matter. He'll wash it. He'll wear it again tomorrow. <laughs> Con Blank up to bat. Ethan Baker entered the game to pitch for the Heritage Christian Eagles. First pitch from Ethan. That ball is driven into right field. It's gonna oh it trying to try to catch that. Just miss him. Oh. Well that's a he, comedy errors there, yeah. man. You just want to throw the ball back in the infield. I tell you what, the right fielder there just missed that one. Dorsch almost came up with it dove and just kind of came out of his glove there. Outstanding effort. Good hustle by Convalenka to make it down to second base. Eagles kind of lucky there that the uh, missing the cutoff man didn't didn't cost him an extra base by Convalenka. It's going to bring up Kenneth top of the lineup for the Trojans. I'm batting 24 tonight. First pitch to him. Nice curveball for a strike. Baker does have a little bit of heat behind his throw there. Yeah, you had Crawford that had a little bit of off speed here, mm -hmm. and here comes Baker who has the heat. That ball low and inside evens the count at one and one. Kind of a link on second base. Kennett up to bat. Nobody out here in the top of the top of the fifth inning. One and one count. Here comes the pitch. That ball's right back out in front of the home plate. Catcher gets it, and he's going to be safe at first base. Drop the ball. Safe at first base. That's a tough play by the catcher there. Convalenka advances to third base, so your Trojans have runners on first and third. Nobody out. And what you want to do if you're here, Shadard, uh, you, you just want to score two. Yeah, you just want to score. Well, right? Actually, you want to score Three. Three. Three gives us some, some extra baseball.
you know, you look at the year that we've had with the COVID, with football and how successful football was with playing the state championship. You went through volleyball. You played the state championship with Eric. Just finished baseball, basketball a couple of weeks ago. Baseball looks like it's well on the way. Softball looks like it's well on the way. What a year for the administration, the athletic directors, the kids, well, just parents. Get, just getting all those games in. And, and, and you know, even even some of those, you had a lot of, you know, able to have fans in the stands at some of those games. Um, it, it, it could have been way worse. This is Duncan up to bat, 1-0 with him. That pitch right there breaks in for a strike, evens the count at 1-1 one one on Duncan. You know, we looked at our schedule in August and all the changes that we made just in the month of August. You thought nothing was going to. Uh, transpired to that, but getting 300 plus games in on our network as well is a blessing to our, our staff and the the fine schools that we have. One and one count here gets away from the catcher. Runner stays at third. Kenneth does advance to second base. Just don't want to live another year like that. You know what? I hope not in my lifetime, Coach. Two and one count here on Duncan. Got runners at second and third. Nobody out. Here comes a pitch. There's a fly ball back out into right field. Dorsch underneath of it. It is in foul territory. He catches it. Here comes a runner coming home. Cut off. Get a run in. The runner does not advance from second to third, interestingly enough. First out of the inning. Leaves Kennett out at second base. And we have to do this because I promised her we would a shout out to Mrs. Wiggins, who's been playing music oh, all day. She's in charge of the she music. She left her spot for us to sit in her spot, so she's down. She's freezing right now down or, or has her probably her winter jacket on. Well, we greatly appreciate that. Yes. Thank you, Mrs. Wiggins. That ball is just a bit outside. This is uh, Placken, the shortstop up to bat. I think we broke up this crew because the crew are used <laughs> to having her jamming, and uh, she she volunteered her to go down, and we, th we thank you for our seats tonight. Here comes a 1-0 pitch. And how about yep. the two athletic directors that allowed us to do this tonight? Mike Horseman and, of course, Mike Ford. Kind of neat to come up here tonight, wasn't it? It is. Yep. Having a bunch of fun. I'm looking forward to tomorrow night. That should be another good game on Indiana SRN. Here comes a pitch. Just a bit low, I suppose, there. These guys Two will miss them. us. They will. They'll, they'll miss stick. <laughs> they'll miss stick. <laughs> Best cameraman in, in the business. 2-0 count here on uh, Placken, the shortstop. Baker from the stretch coming home outside. It's going to be 3-0 and now. Still got that runner on second base. First base open. Cleanup hitter and they getting ready to bat next. One down. Here it is Christian just looking for some outs here. Here's the pitch. Strike right down the middle. Three and one. I think Coach Ambrose wants uh, Ethan Baker to do that exact same thing again on this pitch. Throw strikes. Here comes a 3-1 pitch. That ball is outside. Palak and walks. It's going to put runners at first and second. Cleanup hitter and Nay, the catcher, coming up to bat. Runners at second and first. One out. Baker on the mound. Anae at the plate. Here comes the pitch. Hmm. I guess that one was outside, Coach, but I'm not sure. Catcher goes out, trying to calm his pitcher down a little bit and say, let's just get this guy out. Catcher comes back. Conversation is over. Back to action. Baker digs in. Anae at the plate. 
Strike called. Evens account at one and one. Trying to get some update scores for you. Both runners get decent sized leads out there. That one bounces up there. Catcher did a good job of, uh, Barnett did a good job of blocking that one. No one advances. Danville leads Crawfordville in the bottom of the seventh, 5 3. And Greencastle Tiger Cubs loses 10 to nothing against Northview. Two and one count here. Baker comes set. Comes home with it. Oh. Barnett, I think, just kind of dropped that one. He might have got a strike call if he could have held on to it. That one gets away, goes all the way to the backboard. Runners advance, second and third. Jasper beats Southridge 3-1, to one, and Jay County beats Eastbrook 15-5. Baker really hoping for an out here. Three and one. Here's the pitch. That's high. It's going to walk the cleanup hitter in A. It's going to load the bases. Sitzman, the DH, is going to come up to the plate. So the base is loaded. One out. Eagles still winning 20 to nine, but the uh, uh, the Shatar Trojans have had a pretty good last couple innings. Baker comes set, coming home. There's a ball to third base. He's going to get an out there. He's going to go across the diamond. Double plate. Holy cow! What a play there uh, by Halkier, the third baseman. Stepped on the base, went over to first, got the double play. Ends the ball game, Ends 20 to 10. 20 to 9, 20 to, 20 to 9? No, they scored a run here. I don't think that one counts, Coach. Oh, okay, yep, 29's final score. I think 20 to 9 the final score. And that wraps it up for us for the night as uh, Heritage Christian Scores 20 runs on 19 hits. Pretty, pretty good night for the Eagles offense. Not uh, bad at all. Our next broadcast tomorrow night at Aaron Catholic. Wes, thank you very much. I want to thank Sticks. We want to thank Jerry Collins. I want to thank you for listening to tonight's ball game. If you want to know more about Indiana SRN, contact us at indianasrn.org. Just thank the, the whole entire crew up here, too. Great, great job for those guys. We want to thank you. We'll see you tomorrow night, right? We'll see you tomorrow night. I'm looking forward to doing it again. On, Thanks, Coach. On behalf of Indiana SRN, thank you very much for listening. We'll see you tomorrow night. Garen Catholic, Covenant Christian, at Garen, 530 start. Till then, goodbye, everybody.